Do you hear that? Can you even hear me? I doubt it. But I'm sure you hear the wind. So it is a little bit after 6 a.m. and it is a big day today. Yesterday evening we had all this dropped. I didn't get a chance to get out here, but it is framing day. So um, as you can see, we've got all of our lumber here for the walls. We've got some Advantech for the subfloor upstairs. Um, and I am dropping off blueprints, revised blueprints for the framers. And I am headed to work out. And so I won't be here when they get going at 7. Um, so I will uh, come back after that. We got our, we got all of our LVLs here. Looks like we got all of our posts. Our Advantech. The only thing we don't have here is trusses and a second story floor system. Um, I joist. So it looks like all of that will probably be delivered, I believe, today as well. So... Anyways, we'll be back a little bit later this morning whenever the uh, whenever I get done working out and get back up here. So, um, stand by. <laughs> soon that I'm excited about too so it's an exciting day I've got some new camera equipment coming in today and we're framing so progress moving forward um, my dad calls me every day asking if I've got walls up yet so I'm waiting for that phone call this evening so uh, yeah it's pretty exciting stuff um, this thing will look a whole lot different here in about two hours uh, by the end of the day all these walls will be stood up and uh, trusses will be delivered. Floor joists for the second story. Eye joists will be here. Um, and so we'll have the second floor on this thing tomorrow. So pretty cool stuff. Lots of progress in this phase. As I said before, this is my favorite phase of the construction process just because things happen so fast and the structure takes shape right now. So anyways, I'll check back in when we start starting more.
so I just uh, got back out here to the ridge and uh, looks like we put up a bunch of temporary support bracing and uh, getting ready to stand walls I hope uh, I don't know if you can notice or tell or not I'm a little excited this is the uh, first little video I'm shooting with my new camera so uh, I'll post a link of what I got here oh crap and uh, put it we got a piece of uh, seal seal trying to seal 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 whatever trying to float away um, but this is the first video with the new camera and I've got the microphone with the uh, what do they call it a dead cat cat socks something like that on there to uh, the wind sock to hopefully reduce all the wind noise out here so um, trusses got delivered while I was away so I'm gonna show you that I think you've got a little video footage of that semi leaving so let me uh, get this uh, camera turned around and show you what we got going on now Top, bottom. End of the wall here, and all of this is the overhang. This is for the, that's for the 12 foot shed portion. And, uh, the ones here in the middle, right behind me right now, maybe a little close, with the one foot overhang, that is for the middle portion of the barn. And the bottom of that will roughly be at 20, 23 feet, 24 feet in the air. So it'll be way up there. Uh, I think the top of the barn tops out at 26 feet and then we have three cupolas going on top of there. So anyways, so this is all the middle. Um, and then you've got our sheds, our sheds here on the sides. So uh, anyways, I think we are getting ready to stand a wall. As you can see, they're back there behind me now and uh, we're gonna do that and get back to you. One, two, three, hit! First roll going up. I'm coming in. Yeah, this shit. Hold on, boss. I want you like nail. Holy shit. Yes, yeah, we can't because we have to do it in sections. So we can't nail it. All right, you get you right there, so you got to grab that gun. Hey, well, hold on the wall then. Oh. <laughs> He's like recording myself. Struggling on the wall. No, I'm not struggling. <laughs> Well, this is interesting. Well, well, that's not even nailed at the top. Oh, she's trying to move. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> uh, we've had to break these walls up into sections because it's 110 feet long. And uh, when they did that, they forgot to nail 
where they broke the wall up into sections. So there was about six studs that did not have, uh, were not nailed to the bottom plate. Well, so much for uh, the new camera and microphone situation. Why don't they send a battery fully charged? It had about, uh, I don't know, maybe a minute's worth of shooting and recording. So uh, you wanna know what I'm doing right now? I am chasing Sil Seal again. The uh, wind, as I'm sure you're probably gonna be able to barely hear this, is pretty brutal today, of course. Imagine that again. And so uh, we've got trash blown everywhere. So I continually chase this. The framers took off after it and I said, no, you're overqualified to be chasing this. Let me do it. So here we go. Uh, anyways, I have some pretty cool drone footage. You've probably already seen that by now. Uh, and then I'm gonna show some drone footage at the end of the day after all the walls are stood up. So stay with us. That's it for day one. Uh, it is 
3.45 and they decided to call it quits. So I'm going to give you one last tour of the barn for the day. And then I'm going to, uh, you're probably going to be to music though, because guess what? The wind's blowing 25 miles an hour. Uh, but then I will, uh, I guess, sign off of here. Um, tomorrow, by the end of the day, they should have every single first floor wall up and hopefully have the uh, floor joists up on the uh, second floor and decked. That would be a pretty lofty goal, but I think it's one we could probably take care of. So anyways, I'm going to get out of here, give you one more tour, and until next time, we'll see you up on the ridge.